Hey guys, Tom here. This very first video, I actually didn't want to talk about um, computers and plugins and in the box because I moved to this house, which is a house house. It's, it's not like a studio house. Uh, I saw out of the blue my classic guitar, uh, the guitar that I used, for instance, on uh, on Terminator to record all the all the all the guitar bits. And um, so, staying at home and um, working on music in the box. So we, there will be multiple videos uh, talking about in the box. Um, and I, I I said, you know, I'm not bringing any of my uh, fancy synthesizers or effects or anything like that. And um, but I do have this guitar here. Um, so uh, this is another opportunity for me where I fell in love with the guitar again and I started uh, practicing. It's really great because you're just sitting on your own and you can just like really zone out um, with, uh, with uh, your instrument and uh, develop a new connection, you know, with that instrument. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that have like a very simple, a very simple instrument like that at home, whether it's a bass guitar or a guitar, or maybe a violin or a, guitar, a Spanish guitar or any other instrument. And so, for me, <clears throat> this is also a moment where I can connect again with this uh, instrument. Now, I am not a star player, and I've always said that, but I do have a lot of fun playing this instrument. A music style I've always been very much in love with is. Uh, bossa nova and uh i play a lot of bossa nova music for fun in the house uh it's uh it's so uplifting and it's so full of warm good energy so for people out there that are not super familiar with uh, bossa nova just find a bossa nova playlist on spotify or any other uh music device um, and just enjoy that wonderful music there's so much positivity uh, coming from that and that is particularly I think what we need in times like this uh, to make us feel better So there is one song in particular that I used to play as a kid which was the go from Ipanema and uh, I want to play you a bit of that and for the uh, guitar players uh, among you I, I will I will just quickly say the chords that you need but I'm sure you can find a chord chart so the first chord you need is uh, F major 7 and then a G6. A G minor 9. A 7 minus 5 chord on, on C, but it basically functions as a replacement chord for the F sharp dominant 7 to go back to the F uh, major 7. Um, so basically that's the chords of the of the the of the initial part of the verse. So let me play that, how that sounds like. Those are the chords. As you can see, I'm a horrible player, but I do have a lot of fun playing this instrument uh, in uh, the few hours here and there throughout the week um, that I do not need to work. Um, so uh, again, leave all your questions below and I will get to them. I will answer a couple of questions in, 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 uh, in uh, this video. So I'm gonna put this wonderful instrument away Boom. and I'm gonna talk uh, to you guys directly. Um, so, um, some people said, uh, well, it's really great that you're now gonna be working in the box only because I don't have hardware and I would like to know how you do that. Um, 
I want to take away one really big uh, misconception here. I work in the box all the time. I just use my external synths and my bass guitars and my amps and my pedals and my modular synths where I feel I can enhance something that a plugin uh, cannot give me. So it's a misconception that I only work with hardware and now I'm forced to work only in the box. That's not the case. I always work in the box. Um, so also in the work that I do for films, you always need a total recall of the cue that you did and then do a few changes and then uh, spit it back out again. Uh, so working with hardware in that respect can be problematic and usually the hardware comes in or at the very end when everything is approved and then I'm going to see if I can get a better option for a baseline from the modular wall or if I can get a better pad section from a synthesizer or um, the other thing that I would do is make a huge amount of sounds on forehand with these analog boxes and then I chop them up in audio files and I create contact instruments out of them for instance and then I use that uh, while I'm making um, music for a movie. So Terminator is a very good example of that which is filled with synthesizer sounds, the synthesizer design sounds but they were all made on forehand and then made into contact instruments and with that I started then doing the cues in the box and then I would use more plugins and more uh, mix tools and such. Um, <clears throat> so another question that I, uh, that I got asked is like um, how do I work with, uh, uh, with monitors and with speakers or a headset or whatnot? Um, I also live in an environment with neighbors and, and so I have to be very careful with uh, sound here. But what did help though is that I talked to both of the neighbors and this is just purely being a human being uh, and say, hey guys, uh, I'm now forced to, <clears throat> I'm forced to work from home and uh, so are you guys okay that now you would hear a little bit more music coming from our room than you normally would? And they said, yeah, of course, we have to work at home too. So there's a lot of like forgiveness back and forth for the fact that I now need to work from home and normally I don't. Um, so sometimes that small psychological effect um, uh, it, it is important when you now need to fully work from home and now more people are at home and they might be easily more easily bothered by the sound coming from your room but my room upstairs is also super small <laughs> and um, you guys seen the picture of it and so I use uh, smaller than audio speakers uh, at this point I don't use surround speakers for the for the home setup <clears throat> when it's late at night or early in the morning I use a headset and <clears throat> excuse me I use a, um, a Sennheiser closed headset that I've been using for many many years it's very cheap I think it's under hundred dollars and I know that headset really well and um, uh, so that's totally fine also my room upstairs is not treated with acoustics uh, when I put the speakers up there it definitely sounded a little weird in the beginning but I just played a lot of music that um, I know really well and uh, at a certain point I understood okay this is what these speakers will sound like in this room and then when you make music you know exactly how loud to program something or how quiet. Uh, so that was a question that uh, came in I would like to answer. Um, the other question that I got that's the last question I will answer in this segment and then the next uh, video will, will, will be shot in the little studio upstairs and we get more technical is uh, how do I keep my inspiration up where do I uh, get really good vibes from uh, to, to keep going and I think uh, this is always like the hardest question especially when you're in uh, in, in times of difficulty. So what I've learned over the years, and these are very simple things, um, that even though there might be uh, so many issues out there in the world, and um, whether it's um, this corona crisis, or whether it's uh, poverty, or whether it's a, a war going on, or a potentially approaching hurricane, or approaching um, a twister season, tornado season, or whatever it may be. Um, 
there's always little things in the day um, that you can really enjoy. And uh, for instance, living in California, the sun always comes up every day and it, 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 it's nice and sunny outside. And if I sit outside in the morning and I look at the trees, they don't know what's going on and they are still having a great time growing and enjoying the sun. And that little moment there gives me happiness and that keeps me going throughout the day. Um, for instance, in, uh, in when I was living in Amsterdam, where there's nearly not as much uh, sunshine uh, as it is in uh, California, and when my studio was in the basement and I barely saw any daylight, um, uh, I looked a whole lot wider uh, then. <laughs> so now I look a little bit like sunburn because it's sunny out here. Um, uh, but when I was working in that cellar, I looked like um, a corpse. Yeah, like a corpse uh, because I was in that cellar all day. And so I also went through days of like, pfft, you know, not feeling it at all. And so, for instance, Amsterdam is a city with amazing architecture. And by just walking around, I got so much um, positive energy of just looking at that incredible architecture of uh, over hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, cooking is a really big hobby of mine and uh, since recently also uh, coffee and espressos and, and so I, I find moments and pockets in a day where I can find inspiration and form of happiness even though there's so many uh, troubling aspects happening at the at the same time and uh, um, so I, I hope that answers your question a little bit um, I would like to end this video again uh, as a, a shout out to the whole community um, to please stay safe um, take care of yourself take care of your loved ones and the elderly uh, in your family and uh, I completely understand the tough times that a lot of you are going through and I just want to give you my love, my support and uh, whatever I can do to make things easier for you. Uh, just leave questions below, even if they're more on the personal side, um, it's all totally fine. Uh, or if it's work related, whatever I can do to help you guys. So until the next video, please stay safe and a big hug, elbow, whatever is required nowadays. Uh, but I guess a hug online is fine. That's proper social distancing, I would say. Okay, guys, be safe, be well. We'll talk soon. Bye.